the feathers project. Another really fun exercise we can do to help you explore color, wash techniques, putting down thin lines, thick lines, and all that fun stuff. I will begin by drawing two vertical S's down the paper. So you can think of this as three rows of feathers. Now each feather should be slightly different. So some big, some medium, some small, kind of random shapes too, but they're going to curve or S down the paper. I have a lot of feathers to draw. So what I will do right now is cue the music and then let you guys check it out. And when we're done, um, we will start with the painting process. Obviously, if you don't like a feather, you can always erase it and draw it again. That was a lot of feathers, I know, but it'll be worth it in the end. I have my two small brushes, which is my number four pointed around and my number eight. I will use the larger pointed around to fill in the feathers. And again, we will use random colors. Because these feathers have points, it's important to get a good point on your brush. So as you're loading it up, Give it a little turn, rotate it like that, and that should keep your point together. Um, if you have a really good point around, it should come or snap back to a point anyway. But sometimes when you load a brush, that point will get a little bit messy. But if you rotate it like that as you're loading it, um, it should come back to a pretty good point for you. So now I've got a ton of feathers to paint. Again, I'm using random colors. I encourage you to mix hues um, that appeal to you, but then also mix some colors that you wouldn't ordinarily do. Um, and that way you get used to uh, seeing how certain colors mix. And in the end, you may discover a color mixture combination that you really like. So use this time to explore a little bit uh, and then also uh, use it to obviously work on some of your technique. So as I'm painting these feathers, I'm trying to you know, cut them in uh, along the edges and paint them well. But you know, if, if something is imperfect, I'm not gonna panic about it. So I'm going to speed things up, cue the music, and uh, just kind of paint some feathers here and when we get to the next stage, um, I will slow it down and we will go over what's happening. Thank you. 
So a lot of painting, but a lot of fun. Now I'm going to take a hair dryer to this and make sure everything is 100% dry. If you want it to be semi-wet, that's fine. That's completely up to you. But for this one, I want everything to be dry. I'm going to use my number four round and go around some of these edges and create some texture to these feathers. Again, this is really good exercise for uh, wor working on your brush control, understanding that you know you don't need but just the point or the tip of those bristles on the paper to create a really thin line. And you know in the end you'll have a really cool piece of art to hang on the fridge um, or you know in your bedroom or wherever you want to put it. So anyway, cue the music. see you when this is over. All right, so in this lesson, we learned to put down a thin wash. Um, we learned, hopefully, that you, know, you can explore colors this way. And once things dried a little bit, uh, we came back over that and worked on some of our line uh, drawing skills using a paintbrush. So fun stuff. Hopefully yours turns out really well. So here is my demo image. So for your project, you want to create a similar feather study, a great time to experiment with color mixing, brushwork, and just have a little bit of fun with the learning process.